Hello, welcome back to the HVAC Budget Channel. Today I'm bringing you the Klein Hybrid Multi-Tool. And this will be number 44216. So this is the Klein 44216 Hybrid Plier Multi-Tool. Now this is no longer in stock on Klein's website. It's no longer in stock on Home Depot's website, which used to sell this. I did see a couple companies online uh, it, they still have it listed for around $30. I don't know if you can actually get it for that, but that's pretty much what it's going for on the some a uh, couple electrician companies' websites. So, all right. So let's get into this multi-tool. I actually got this one on eBay because I thought they were completely out of stock and not made anymore, which. I think they are. People are just selling out their stock, so I probably paid way too much for this, somewhere around $20, $25. Uh, beat up condition because I didn't didn't want to pay any more. I've seen these going for up to $50 or so, $60. So anyway, let's go ahead and just do a quick overview of this. We notice, first of all, these are going to be very chunky pliers. These are going to be uh, heavy duty pliers. This is going to be a very heavy tool overall. This will be in size. It feels almost like Surge Leatherman 300, just a very heavy duty tool. So I think these are probably not meant for this, but this just like snaps coat hanger. So it, I mean, these cutters work well. Um, they definitely do. I would be scared to do that on many of my other multi-tools, but these are pretty heavy duty cutters. So let's go ahead and do the wire strippers. Again, I sort of came into this review with some very negative feelings about this because I've heard these were just useless as wire strippers, but I actually find they strip wire pretty good. So at least I'm using the 14 gauge slot. Uh, but anyway, they seem to do a fairly good job. So pretty impressed with that. There seems to be mixed reviews. I'm guessing you might get a bad set, but there are some good sets out there. At least mine seems to be for whatever that's worth. All right, so this is going to be marketed as, as a seven function multi-tool. I'm guessing it's about three and one right here. You've got your, your pliers, your strippers, your cutters, and then uh, there's probably four actually, because, well, actually there are four functions down here. So three up here and then four down here. So perhaps one of the most useless functions is actually this tweezer, which to me, I guess, I mean, I get wire stuck in my hand all the time and then I use my multi-tools, but this does not feel like a great set of tweezers, but perhaps it is. Again, I haven't used it, but anyway, wh whatever. Um, then we also find the knife here, which is going to be just basically a huge knife. Um, and that it does have a linear lock. So again, I got this in used condition, so your knife may come sharper. Um, and then we also notice that it's going to have two, a flat, a medium, flat screwdriver and then a Phillips screwdriver. So now the negatives about this tool in my book are that it is very heavy. To me, it's very heavy. It's not very ergonomic. It's not fun to hold, not fun to carry. And the tools don't lock. So that's some negatives. And also, I mean, you've really only got like a couple sizes of wire stripper here. It's just a little disappointing. I love that they added some, which I wish Leatherman would do something where they added, uh, you know, four or five uh, gauges. But uh, it's great that they added some, but it's just disappointing that they only added those. So the positives are that the functions on mine seem to work. I have seen others where they did not work very well, but the cutters are really tough. I mean, these are gigantic plier heads. So if you need to really use something, I mean, these are gigantic. Uh, then also, even though these don't lock, I have to say they are held in place really well. I mean, I have to really yank on this to bend it back. I mean, with a Gerber arm bar, I can just like shove it back really quick. This, this is almost as good as a Leatherman Bond, I think. Almost. Probably not as good, but almost. So the retention is held in place very well, I have to say. 
Uh, and then the knife is locking, so that's positive as well. And, uh, you know, you do have those tweezers. I don't understand why they did add more tools here instead of just adding these little tiny set of tweezers in there, but they made that choice, so that's what they decided to do. So these are marketed as the essential tools needed for an electrician, so you can decide if that's true or not. I don't think these will be around much longer. I think companies are just trying to sell the stock they've had. So if you're interested in this, go ahead and uh, buy one of these. I did want to mention that I believe there's a very similar multi-tool, the Blackfire, I think is what's called on Amazon, which adds a quarter inch bit driver. It does not have the wire strippers, but it has a very similar plier head to it. So you might want to take a look at that. I think it's called the Blackfire. Um, but anyway, so hope you've enjoyed this review, found this helpful for you. I wish they had added some crimpers here like Leatherman and Gerber did, but they didn't. Um, but overall, I mean, it works and it's massive set of pliers, massive set of cutters. So it does have some benefits. The news isn't all bad, but unfortunately it's made in China. I like Klein tools made in the USA, but this is one of their they're Chinese brands that it feels like they just did not put as much thought into. So hope you've liked this video. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.